Hello, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Tomas Mink and I'm a trampoline gymnast for Team USA. So a few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to compete double mini at the 2022 World Championships in Sofia, Bulgaria, where I was fortunate to come home with not one, but two bronze medals. If you don't know what double mini is, I don't blame you, not many people know what it is. It's not, not the most common thing. I would explain it to you, but it's probably easier if I just show you. So here's a video of me doing it. Nice. So yeah, that's double mini. It's not, not the most complicated thing to understand. And it's basically what I've been specializing in my entire gymnastics career. So for this video, I kind of just wanted to go over all my passes and routines from this year's Worlds, kind of break it down for you guys. You guys know what I was thinking, feeling when I was doing my thing. Enjoy. And yeah, those are both of my passes from qualification. I had to adjust one of the skills in my first pass, which kind of hurt my difficulty a little bit, but overall I was really happy with how day one went. Individually, I managed to move on to the semi-final round in third place. Here are the results for that. And because of Team USA's crazy dominance in the qualification round, shout out Ruben, Changa, and Meryl, we managed to move on to the team final round in first place. I'll insert those results here. So yeah, overall, a very good day for Team USA Double Mini as a whole. The following day would be our team final. And if you don't know how it works, basically three people from each country do a single pass and the countries are ranked based on those three passes alone. So let's get into it. Definitely my weakest pass of the entire competition. This was my first time competing in any type of world final, so nerves probably played a part. I was planning on doing a harder pass, but because of the rough first skill, I had to quickly adjust and do something easier just to land on my feet. So after a great pass from Ruben. Score something enormous, close to 30. That's outrageous! That's outrageous! We still managed to take the bronze and I got my first ever world's medal. Congrats to Spain and Portugal for a great final and here are the results. The next morning would be the individual semifinal. This was a new round added to the sport just this year. It's when the top 16 from qualifications get to do one single pass. And from that pass, the top eight will be determined. And those eight would be the ones who get to move on and compete in the individual final later that same day. For this round, I went for my highest difficulty yet and it proved to be successful. I ranked second only behind my teammate Ruben and I was on my way to my first ever individual world final. My biggest goal for this year was just to make the final so by this point I was beyond satisfied and I was just happy to have the chance to compete one last time. The way the individual final worked this year was that all eight athletes get to do their first pass and from there the top four scoring athletes get to move on to the super final where they each do one last pass. Yeah let's get into it. So at the moment, 26.8, that's Campbell Robertson of New Zealand, occupies a place in the final. 
So a score higher than that and you'll displace him. This is Thomas Mink of the USA, 18 year old from Washington DC, team bronze medalist yesterday. Goodness me, that's big work from Thomas Mink. Wow. That was breathtaking. So much height, so much height. Tucks in tightly. And then he adds a little twisting work as well. Like I said earlier, I was just happy to be competing again. After my first pass, I was ranked third, which meant I was on my way to the super final. The scores would reset for the final four, and my plan was just to go for my highest difficulty pass again. Here's the full clip. To Thomas Mink of the United States of America, this 18 year old, He is also a diver, competes at a local level in the USA, which you can see from his gymnastics. Oh, he's very, very, yes, he was really off angle coming into the landing. Nonetheless, it's going to score well. And it's all about where he actually lands, first and foremost in terms of the penalty he picks up. Although he ended up quite far back, he may have landed in red. Little knee bend in the pike, and again there. Yes, he's only gonna pick up two tenths of penalty for that. There will be some execution deductions for the stabilizing of his land. And they're called instability deductions, can go up to a few tenths. And he's just gone behind Gavin Dodd. 29.1, and it means that Thomas Mink is guaranteed a medal, and it means the USA continues its streak. So yeah, even with a bit of an awkward landing at the end, that pass was enough to snag myself my first ever individual medal and my second medal of the competition. Thomas Mink of the United States of America wins the bronze medal. He's only 18. He celebrated his birthday two days ago. Well, in you of a gift, here's a late birthday present from the gymnastics world. Here are the final individual results. The feeling was honestly unreal, and I hope it's just my first of many great experiences. If you ended up watching till the end, thank you. And don't be afraid to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. If for some reason you're not already following my Instagram, I'd say it's probably worth your while as I do post on there consistently. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.